It was a tumultuous week for the markets that hit both the TSX and the Canadian dollar hard. Now another troubling economic sign for Canada. The latest numbers show a trade deficit in August, one that surprised forecasters. Vashi Capellos looks at what the numbers mean and if there's reason to be worried. The Nasdaq near correction territory. Everywhere you look this week, the news you couldn't avoid. Another wild day for the markets. Stung by low oil prices, North American stock markets tumbled. On Tuesday, the TSX hit an eight month low. The pain is being felt around the world. Both Europe and China's economies aren't growing as fast as they were projected to. Together with the U.S., they are the biggest markets for Canada's exports, which after making gains earlier this year, fell by 2.5% in August. Again, lower oil prices were a big factor in the decline, leading to a national trade deficit of $610 million, down from a surplus in July. We're investing more and more in it. Ian Lee is a professor with the Sprott School of Business. We've always been a trading nation. It's, you know, about a third of uh, GDP is exported. So that's very large. That's one out of three dollars, roughly. And, uh, but since the 2008 9 re re uh, recession, which was really brutal, worst recession since the Depression, we haven't recovered to that level. The August numbers came as a shock to some forecasters who had predicted a trade surplus of $1.6 billion based on surpluses in June and July. But the sky isn't falling, according to Pedro and Tunis. The senior economist with the Conference Board of Canada says the latest trade numbers shouldn't be looked at in isolation. Until August, we've, we've had some good news from those, uh, from those data. Uh, so let's not put too much credence on, uh, on the August numbers uh, per se, but uh, let's wait and see what's happening in, in terms of the at least a, a few months. A moving average over a few months is probably a better indicator. A lower dollar should help Canadian exports, but even that might not be what it seems because the dollar is a symptom of those economic woes and if the problem persists... And our export sector doesn't take off, what that means is the growth is going to come down even more and I think you would see unemployment going up. Vashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.